sovereignty is at the heart of the debate about any country's relationship with the European Union, and in particular at the heart of the Brexit debate as well. But I also think sovereignty is a really difficult term to pin down in any meaningful way. And I certainly think it's a term that has been very poorly understood and used by both sides in the Brexit campaign, both the Leave and the Remain. Um, I think, again, they're struggling to, f to, to know what they really mean when they're talking about sovereignty. At its simplest, it refers to the right to make decisions for a country. But this is not an on-off switch in the way in which it works. Sovereignty is not something you either have or don't have. I think it works in a far more fluid and a far more varied way than that in terms of how people can actually uh, use sovereignty. Let me give a couple of examples. I think it's especially true in areas like economic policy. A government, for example, could make a sovereign decision to, let's say, raise corporation taxes. Fine, but they cannot assure that that is going to be done effectively because what might happen is the corporations will simply up sticks and move to another country. So you can take a decision, but it won't actually, you won't actually be able to deliver on that decision uh, because of the freedom for other actors involved in that process. Um, and in fact, the European Union has actually been trying to ensure a level playing field so that countries cannot, as it were, steal companies uh, from each other with the carrot of lower taxes because of course ultimately if we keep on cutting taxes, cutting taxes, cutting taxes we end up with much poorer social services so the European Union has actually been trying to find a mechanism for ensuring common standards in that kind of area. That leads on to another example, social policy issues as well, again to try and illustrate these problems of dealing with sovereignty. Again, a country can make a sovereign policy decision about, let's say, climate change uh, as an issue, of what they want to try and do to bring in higher environmental standards, higher environmental regulations, uh, in order to try to respond to the challenges of climate change. But if other countries don't do the same thing, one country doing that on their own is pretty much useless. Um, so again, it is far better under these circumstances to pool sovereignty together and a much more effective way of actually producing decisions that have a real impact as opposed to decisions that sound great on paper but don't actually carry much meaning in terms of what they actually do. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges again for uh, how to make the European Union work more effectively.